Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hopping on. I am Irma Mast. I um, get a question quite a bit, and the question is, how do I join the Amish church? Um, as in, if I dig a little deeper, it's the off. The, what this specific one is coming from is, how do I join the Amish church as far as rules and whatever? Like, what would I need to do rule-wise to be part of the Amish church? So, I will just be sharing more what rules and where I come from. Um, there's so many different churches. There's probably a few dozen different Amish denominations. And so I will be sharing where I come from, which is an older church um, called Isaac Church, if that's helpful to you. Um, one of the most liberal Amish in the Holmes County, Ohio area. So I, that is just what I will be sharing, what you would need to do if you would want to join the Amish church. And I would like to have the question, just my question to you is, what is the reason behind this? Like, what is the reason that you want? What do you think it will gain, profit you? What do you think it will provide for you? What do you think it will help you to do that? Um, just what would be the reason behind joining? Just answer maybe that question to yourself or whatever. It's just my question to you. Um, and some these are some ways that you could start now. Um, I will say that it is a lot easier to follow rules and do specific stuff if you don't have to, if you are in control of what you do and don't do. So um, I would suggest that if that is something that you've ever considered, that li you can live the Amish lifestyle. You can do all of the right things that, that their rules they have to do um, without being Amish. And once you are Amish, I don't know of many people at all that ever join successfully. Um, uh, there's one book that I've read. I don't know the person in person, the person in person. Um, and then it's the only one that I know that successfully joined and was a member of the Amish church and lasted. Um, everyone else that I've heard of or anything either got kicked out or left for some reason or it was never successful in the first place. So that's a little bit of data. It is, um, but I was getting to the detail of some things. So one of the things, I mean, there's a lot of details that I won't get into because each church varies so much and they change all the time. So I don't even know. I'm saying I have a hard time keeping up with my own church where I come from because they change so much. But I would say just some of the basic things would be um, not having a smartphone. I would say some of them have the basic flip phones. Um, where I come from, my parents' specific church where I am, they at this point have the black, uh, the landline or a black box on the out it has to be outside of the house so it can be in a storage barn in the shop or somewhere else you would have to have it on the outside um, you can have voicemail um, but there's just this landline on the outside so that would be something to consider doing if you would want to think about joining your dress would be something that you could practice already i would say try it for a year to two years if that's what you really like perhaps it would then go from there um for the women it's wearing an Amish dress. Um, it can't be, as the bishop would say, too tight, too bright, or too see-through, thin. Um, and there are a few places that you can buy dresses. It's not that they have to be homemade. I mean, I th we made them, but I think if you're not able to sew them, they would be, there are some places that you, that you can buy them in Amish stores, not a ton of places. Um, for the women, it would be wearing a head covering. Those are very simple to get. Most of people actually buy those, um, including like, we, they're kind of hard to make. Um, I made one covering once and it turned out well, but, um, we, my siblings, like they, the church I come from go to a store and they buy them. So there are different places you can get, um, coverings and the hair has to be parted in the middle. Women can't cut their hair. Um, and for the men, it would be having um, of those flat pants. Uh, I think there are a few places that you can buy those now too, if you're not able to make them. Um, the shirts have to be plain color, no pockets. Um, we would get some at some thrift stores. So you can get them at thrift stores and just make off the pocket if that is helpful. There are places that you can buy those. Um, speaking Dutch is something that would be very important. I don't know. Um, many places that you can even learn the language except you can probably teach yourself some and you could there are probably places that you can waste that you could learn but that is something that is super important to their culture because even in the church they speak 
some German. They, the Bible that they read in, in church is in German. So speaking Dutch is a, a necessity if you want to be part of the member. But you could also do the lifestyle, as I said, with them. Uh, electricity. We did not have electricity off grid or uh, on like from the grid. We could have solar, um, but no electricity from the grid except for an outdoor storage barn where we could have an electric freezer and the phone could be out there. Um, we could use generators and but not a big generator that would run the whole house. So uh, LP gas or natural gas would be um, a must to be hooked up for your stove and light or different things, um, refrigerator, anymore they use um, electric lights through batteries. So that would be something, the horse and buggy would be, be something that would be, um, you'd be able to change on your own. Um, learning to drive a horse is a skill to learn, um, but you could practice, that would be something to do. Just get rid of your, your vehicle start riding, driving a horse or even every day to work you can get a taxi and just pay the taxi that is we did that quite a bit um and sitting on hard backless benches for church um hard backless benches those you can pr buy some places i'm sure because we always had them for church and practice sitting on those about three to four hours every other week um that is one of the harder things um that we are so not used to in this culture, right? <laughs> we are used to our comfy chairs. Um, that is some of the things that would be just off the bat. Um, no dishwashers, no, um, we used the sweeper, um, either it's record, uh, rechargeable or um, it would have to be, you know, hooked up to the generator. So those are just some of the basic things that we need to be changed. I would say do it for a year or two. And if you're thinking it's, if you're thinking you would like to do that. And um, I think it's a lot, as I said, it's easier to do it if you don't have to. And also once you become a member and you don't obey them, then you get kicked out and you get excommunicated. Um, not many people are successful, but I do think there's a lot we can do if that looks inviting. There's nothing wrong with living that lifestyle. Um, I, I, I guess from what I see, many people are looking for something more simplistic and they're looking for something, it just seems like it would be less stress and stuff. And in, I wouldn't say that it is less stress or anything like that. That is very different from living a minimalist lifestyle or a simplistic lifestyle. Um, I personally choose a minimalistic lifestyle, um, a more, what I would say a simplistic lifestyle. Um, and there's not a lot from what I shared that I even use in that. Um, but that minimalistic lifestyle and the Amish lifestyle are two completely different things. Um, you can live a minimal, minimalist lifestyle in the culture we're now, and you can live it when you're Amish too. So. I hope this is helpful if you've been wondering that. I get that question a lot. And so I thought I would just share some of that, so some of my views. Um, that would just be on the rules. And um, I will be seeing you again.